example, that example. The NDP Liberals are not worth the cost, the crime or the corruption. Prime Minister has ground the work of Parliament to a halt by refusing to respect your ruling. The government right. must hand over evidence to the police right. concerning the $400 million spending scandal that saw Liberal appointees give millions of dollars to their own companies. Wow. The Auditor General says there's 186 conflicts of interest wow. in this scandal. Will the Prime Minister end the cover-up, respect your ruling, give the police the information so that we can have accountability and get back to work? Yeah. Yeah. The Honourable Leader of the House in, in the House of Commons. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, it's demonstrably false what the Leader of the Opposition is saying because your ruling was to send this matter to the House and Procedure Affairs Committee for more study. And so, in fact, it is only the Conservatives that are now obstructing their own obstruction because they don't want this to go to committee because it would demonstrate that they are trying to upend charter rights and override police independence. Thank you, Mr. That's Speaker. Right. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the Parliament can get back to work this minute if the government will just hand over the evidence to the police about this $400 million liberal spending scheme. Interesting. They say everybody's going to lose their charter rights if the police get evidence into this $400 million Liberal spending scandal. Right. No, what will happen is that the Liberal nominees and appointees who engaged in 186 conflicts right. of interest to stuff their own pockets will be held criminally accountable right. and Canadians right. might get their money back. Why won't they hand over the evidence, respect your ruling, so we can get back to work around yeah. here? Yeah. The Honourable Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Mr. Speaker, what's interesting about this is that there's actually proof that the Leader of the Opposition is saying is false, because in your ruling you said this matter needs to go to the House and Procedures Affairs Committee for further study, because this is unprecedented in what the Conservatives are putting forward, because, as the RCMP mentioned, it would upend charter rights and it would blur the lines between judicial and legislative independence. Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives can follow your ruling and we can all go back to work, which is what exactly the Canadians want us to do. Thank you. Yes, we I'd like to thank all members for being very patient and not taking the microphone. I'm going to remind the Honourable Member from South Shore St. Margaret's to do the same. The Honourable, the Honourable Member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Speaker, it was you who ruled that this NDP Liberal government obstructed a lawful order of this House by not turning over the evidence in the $400 million dollar corruption scandal. It has this parliament paralyzed and unable to deal with the misery and chaos that's been created after nine years of this NDP Liberal government. And taxes are up, costs are up, crime is up and time is up for the cover-up of this latest corruption scandal. So will they simply provide the evidence to the police so that this House can get back to its work of holding them accountable? The Honourable Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, that member is, again, uh, false in his statements because what you clearly ruled was that this matter should be sent to committee for further study because it is the first time in this Parliament's history that it is taking its extraordinary powers and abusing them in such an egregious way. The issue with which the Honourable Member is discussing has been dealt with by this government, but it's up to the Conservatives to stop obstructing their own obstruction so that we can all get back to the important work of governing for Canadians. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rita Lakes. Only a Liberal would get up in this place and say that the majority of members in this House who were democratically elected, exercising powers that are legally bestowed upon this Parliament, are somehow infringing up upon yeah. this government's constitutional right to not be investigated by the RCMP for their own corruption. It's absolutely yeah. unbelievable. unbelievable. Yeah. Over 186 conflicts of interest, $400 million lining the pockets of well-connected Liberal insiders, while Canadians are lined up at food banks in record numbers. So we want to know if this government's expecting the NDP to bail them out and stop us from holding them to account. The Honourable Minister of Justice and Attorney General. Mr. Speaker, let's be clear about two things. In terms of a criminal prosecution, the way it normally unfolds is the police seek a search warrant from a judge. The judge evaluates the Charter of Rights and Freedoms and the Charter interest they're at stake in getting those documents, something of which that party cares not. 
Secondly, Mr. Speaker, we also have this fundamental premise. It's called police independence. We safeguard it in Canada. You know who doesn't safeguard it? Authoritarian regimes. I guess the Leader of the Opposition and his minions are sharing their blatant observation and favoritism towards authoritarian tactics in this House. The Honourable Member for Louis Saint Laurent. Mr. Speaker, history will remember that this government is corrupt. The latest example is the Green Fund, which ultimately became a slush fund for this government's buddies. The Auditor General was scathing. The leaders of the fund gave money to their own companies 186 times. That is corruption that deserves a police investigation. My question is very clear. When will the Liberals comply with your ruling to give the documents to the police so they can do their work? The Honourable Minister of Innovation. Mr. Speaker, I have a great deal of respect for my colleague, for Louis Saint Laurent, but only the Conservatives could manage to filibuster their own motion. I've never seen anything like it. Mr. Speaker, we said that we would take decisive action, and that's what we've done. We got to the bottom of things. There have been four independent reports. The CEO has stepped down. The board stepped down. The fund is now under the National Research Council. We believe that we have taken the right measures to ensure good governance of that program. The Honourable Member. Mr. Speaker, I also respect the minister, but the problem is that the AG herself said that the minister did not do his work properly and was not paying enough attention to what was happening within the fund. And we know that people here at the table are saying that the RCMP does not have all the documents. The only way to ensure that the RCMP can properly do its work is to ensure that the Liberals actually provide all of the documents. When will the Minister finally stand up and do his duty? The Honourable Minister of Innovation. Mr. Speaker, again, I have a great deal of respect for my colleague, but there have been four independent reports. Not one, four. Four independent reports were produced. And the RCMP Commissioner has said in an open letter that the RCMP had access to all the documents. So in the interest of Canadians and democracy, in the interests of our work here in the House, we are asking the Conservatives to stop, to stop filibustering their own motion and to work hard in the interest of all Canadians. The Honourable Member from Kamloops, Thompson Caribou. Mr. Speaker, after nine years, the NDP Liberals aren't worth the cost, crime or corruption. You, Mr. Speaker, ruled that this NDP Liberal government must hand over documents relating to what the Auditor General found was a $400 million fraud with 186 conflicts of interest. This is at a time when Canadians are having trouble heating, eating and housing themselves. When will this Liberal government end the cover-up and provide those documents to the RCMP as they should? The Honourable Minister of Justice and Attorney General. I'm going to appeal to that member as a former Crown Prosecutor. He knows something about the independence of our institutions. When the police take action, they do so without political direction or manipulation. The police make decisions. They then go to a court and ask for a search warrant. It is judicially authorized because it has charter protections. That's something that that member used to be familiar with. I just wish he would educate some of his colleagues about the importance of these safeguards and why they exist in democracies. The Honourable Member from Kamloops, Thompson, Carbon. Mr. Speaker, listening to the Attorney General, you would almost think that the Liberals believe they have a charter right to line the pockets of Liberal insiders, Mr. Speaker. This is at a time when Canadians are lining up at food banks, when people cannot afford their mortgages, they cannot find a house, and yet Liberals line pockets of Liberal insiders. This is, such, this is so on brand for Liberals. It's like they're entitled to their entitlements. Mr. Speaker, when will this Liberal government end the entitlement for Liberal insiders have Hand over the documents, unredacted, so that Canadians and police can know the truth. 
The Honourable Minister of Justice and Attorney General. Mr. Speaker, there is a qualitative difference between providing documents for the purposes of Parliament and providing documents for the purposes of prosecution. The second you cross that line, you need to impose the protections that the Charter provides. That's what that document represents. Most Canadians get behind that document, save for my Conservative colleagues. The reason why the safeguards are important is because they protect things like privacy, your freedom from unreasonable search and seizure. Again, fundamental precepts that that member knows full well because he used to practice in this area. I just wish he could educate his colleagues about why we need to safeguard important charter rights. Colleagues. The Honourable Member from Carlton Trail, Eagle Creek. After nine years of NDP Liberals, taxes are up, costs are up, crime is up, time is up. The Green Slush Fund is more proof that the NDP Liberals are not worth the cost, crime or corruption. They have violated a House order to cover up for their friends. This $400 million Liberal scandal has paralysed Parliament, making it impossible to address the Prime Minister's agenda of crime and chaos. Will the NDP Liberals and the cover-up give proof to the police so Parliament can get working for Canadians? Exactly. The Honourable Minister for Innovation. Mr. Speaker, talking about working for Canadians, now Canadians at home were seeing Conservative blocking Conservative motion, Mr. Speaker. Can you imagine that we live in a parallel world in this place? The Conservatives are blocking their own motion, Mr. Speaker. What we did and we promised the Canadian was to get to the bottom of this, Mr. Speaker. There will be four independent reports, Mr. Speaker, including the Auditor General, including the Commissioner of the RCMP. We said he has all the documents, Mr. Speaker. Not only the Board resigned, the CEO resigned, the integrity of the of the foundation has been transferred. Mr. Speaker, we uphold the Colleagues, 